Aiden Blaze Alarms here, and it's time for System Test 4. I think you're gonna like this one. Welcome to System Test 4. Now, you should probably know what I have planned for this system. If you watch System Test 3, I talked about it a little bit at the end. And it's also in the title of the video. I'm not going to take too long explaining the devices. A lot of them are the same as uh, last time. We still have the 4004, uh, the Notifier NBG12L. Uh, the Simplex 2099-9756 T-Bar. Over here, I did switch this out, and this is now the Pyrotronics MSI-10B. And then over here, I have the Edwards 278B-1120. Make sure I get the model number correct this time. Uh, for the notification appliances, over here, I have the Gentex Commander 3. It is set to 15... Uh, you're not going to be able to see. It's on 15 Candela, and it is uh, set to strobe only. Uh, over here, I have the system sensor. I want to say it's the Spectral Advanced SPSR. Uh, let's just confirm. Yep, SPSR. All right, let's put that back up. As you can see, all devices are monitored, so the panel did go into trouble there. Uh, and then I have another SPSR. This one's on 15 Candela, and this one is on 30 Candela. Figured I'd make things interesting. And then I also have my Simplex Sync module, um, which <laughs> the Sync module doesn't work with my True Alerts, but it works with uh, Spectral Advances and the Commander 3. So all these strobes will actually be synchronized. The original plan was to put an L-Series here, um, but unfortunately, the L series doesn't seem to work with the Simplex Sync module, though, so um, that sucks. But oh well. Uh, along with that, I also over here. Hello. I know that light up there is a little annoying, but I have my laptop also recording uh, for another camera angle, so that'll be interesting. I'm over here. Hello. Uh, so you guys will get a lovely view of the entire system uh so yeah that would be fun all right back to the phone um yeah this is gonna be fun so uh actually i'm not gonna show you what i've done uh, i'm just gonna set the system off first and then i'll show you all that so right here we have the simplex t-bar so let's give this a push and a pull
Yep. We have voice evacuation now. Let, let me grab my key and put it back in the panel. Ha. Yeah, we have voice evacuation now. So, uh, I have my two speaker strobes hooked up uh, into the panel. This is not a voice evac panel, so how did I do it? This right here is the answer to all of your lovely questions here. Uh, you might have noticed previously this 9 volt battery down here. This is supplying power uh, to this. Uh, positive is going directly from the battery to the positive terminal. Negative is going into this relay, which uh, those connect up to NAC1. So when I silence the system, this relay turns off. And then this module here has a micro SD card inside of it, which has audio files. And uh, depending on my configuration of these wires down here, it'll play a certain message. Uh, so with the current configuration, it plays the standard simplex message. And this card is not designed for fire alarm systems, and it's definitely not up to code, but this is a demonstration board, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, I'm not going to get into the uh, specifics about that because I actually followed a video by Aaron Productions, uh, which I'm going to link in the description if you want to do this yourself. Uh, an awesome video. I do want to mention, though, um, some panels do have weirdness with the way that it powers this here. You can choose how you want to power it, uh, but just be aware, if you use the panel power, it might not work. Uh, that's the problem I had. I tried using the panel power to power it, and it wouldn't work right. So that's why I'm using a 9 volt. But yeah, I'll link, I'll link you to uh, his video in the description. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the configuration of this every time I pull a different pull station. Uh, this was linked to the simplex message. Uh, I had it on the simplex when I pulled that one. I'm going to switch over to a silent night message, and I'm going to pull the notifier pull station. I mean, I mean, silent night isn't notifier, but they're close enough. Uh, and then I'm going to switch over to Siemens message and pull the Pyrotronics pulse station. Again, close enough. And then I have the EST pulse station over here. It's Edwards, I guess, but close enough. It'll, go, it'll play an EST message. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, but I am going to reset the system now. I'm going to change uh, the configuration down here to Silent Night. All right. It has been changed over to the Silent Night message, and I'm going to pull uh, the Notifier NBG-12L. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please. There has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. All right. I'm going to reset. I'm going to change it over to the Siemens message. I'll be right back. All right. It is now on the Siemens message. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pull the Pyrotronics pull station.
May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. Please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. I really hate this pole station. I really do. I hate it. What? Ah. Yeah, I'll look for that later. Okay, well, nice. I realarmed it. Oh, it flew all the way over here. Interesting. Uh, yeah, nice. I accidentally realarmed this device. <laughs> all right, and finally, I'm just gonna look over here at the EST pulsation. And then it will suddenly, the system will have uh, suddenly been reset and changed to an EST message. Watch this. And just like that, the system has been reset and it is now on the EST message. So here we go. This setup right here is the worst, but I mean, these screws are terrible as well. They get stripped very easily. Uh, so I guess the wire nut thing is better for now. What I might do is I might get a tiny little breadboard to go in there, connect these wires into the breadboard, and just make my life 10 times easier doing that. We will see. Or maybe even I'll get a couple of switches uh, that'll allow me to change that yeah maybe we will see uh but now i'm gonna reset actually yeah let's reset uh and then i'm gonna do a good old a good old smoke test all right uh, this is not set to verification, by the way. I'm going to put the cover over that. Uh, I've learned the hard way twice so far uh, that if you spray the detector tester at one thing, it's likely going to set the other thing off. Because there was a system test too when I tested this. <laughs> and it still somehow set off this detector. No clue how. That stuff is... It's crazy, I guess, but yeah. And then there was one time before that, um, off camera, where I was smoke testing this, and even with the dust cover over the nest protect, it still detected smoke. So, uh, I'm going to try my best not to do that this time. I'm going to spray away from the nest protect. Here we go. Should be plenty.
Yep. All right, I'm gonna let that air out for a second. I won't be able to reset the system without that being in a normal condition. So I'm gonna let it air out for a second here. I'll leave those uh, strobes flashing, I guess, for now. Uh, I'll close up the panel as well. Ah, uh, yes, this is a fun system. <laughs> you gotta love voice effects. You gotta love it. Uh, you also gotta love the second camera angle that you get thanks to my awesome laptop over here. Yeah. So, I have plans to update the um, uh, files that's on the uh, micro SD card and play different messages as like a system test 4.5. We'll see what messages I choose. Uh, but for now, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys uh, for coming out to this system test. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what to do for the next system test, so if you... Uh, if you have any suggestions, do feel free to leave a comment. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will, we will uh, see what we can do. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye.